Viruses appear in a variety of colors and can infect people, animals, plants, and single-celled creatures including mycoplasma, bacteria, and algae. They differ widely in genomic organization, structure, expression, replication, and transmission. While some viruses can infect multiple host species, others can only infect one host species. The DNA or RNA of host cells that acquired the capacity for autonomous replication is regarded to have served as the starting point for the evolution of viruses. Another possibility is that viruses are weakened versions of intracellular parasites. Even after infecting a host cell, certain viruses have no effect. However, some of them are deadly. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 scary viruses. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Number 10. Dengue Fever Break Bone Fever and Dengue Fever are both viral infections spread by mosquitoes. Aedes mosquitoes carry dengue disease, which can be brought on by any of four distinct viruses. There is always a risk of dengue fever. Learn about dengue if you're thinking about taking a trip to the tropics. In popular vacation spots like Thailand and India, dengue, which is spread by mosquitoes, affects 50 to 100 million people annually. The 2 billion people who reside in areas where dengue fever is a threat, however, are more affected by this issue. Number 9. Kyasana Forest Virus, KFD. In 1955, the Kyasana Forest Virus, KFD, was found in the wooded areas on India's southwest coast. High fevers, excruciating headaches, and bleeding-prone muscle soreness are symptoms experienced by those who are infected with the virus. In the forests of Shimoga district, Karnataka state, India, there were reports of a fatal episodic outbreak of a monkey sickness in 1957. The virus was discovered to be a brand new strain and dubbed Kyasana Forest after the place where it was discovered in dead langa monkeys and people. Number 8. The Crimea Congo Fever Crimean Congo Hemorrhagic Fever CCHF, is a widespread disease caused by a tick-borne virus, Nerovirus, of the Bunny Everida family. A case fatality rate of 10 to 40 percent is caused by the CCHF virus, which also produces severe viral hemorrhagic fever outbreaks. Tick bites or contact with infected animal blood or tissues during or right after slaughter are the two main ways that the CCHF virus is spread to humans. People working in the cattle industry, such as farmers, butchers, and veterinarians, have been most frequently affected. Close contact with the blood, saliva, organs, or other bodily fluids of infected people can result in the transmission of the disease from one person to another. Inadequate sterilization of medical equipment, reuse of needles, and tainted medical supplies can all contribute to hospital-acquired diseases. Number 7. HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Virus A member of the Retrovirude family of viruses, the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, weakens an infected person's immune system. HIV may have been on the continent as early as the 1800s and is thought to have originated from chimpanzees in Central Africa. Since the 1970s, the virus has been present in the US. Although the virus cannot currently be cured, effective medications have been developed to manage the condition known as ART, antiretroviral therapy. People develop flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills, rash, muscular pains, sore throats, exhaustion, mouth ulcers, and enlarged lymph nodes. Number 6. Lassa virus. A viral infection known to affect both humans and apes, the Lassa virus is commonly referred to as Lassa fever or Lassa hemorrhagic fever, LHF. It is thought that between 300,000 and 500,000 new instances of the virus appear each year. The virus is endemic to Western Africa, particularly the nations of Sierra Leone, Nigeria, and Liberia. Each year, the virus alone causes close to 5,000 fatalities. Since more research is required to understand the disease, there are currently no authorized vaccinations for the Lassa virus. It can result in hemorrhagic fever, deafness, weakness, exhaustion, sore throat, coughing, headaches, and gastrointestinal disease within a week after exposure. Additionally, typical symptoms include respiratory troubles, neurological abnormalities, bleeding from the nose, gums and eyes, among others. Before reaching the body's circulatory system, the Lassa virus first infects almost every tissue in the human body. Number 5. Dane virus. Symptoms of the virus usually appear 3 to 14 days after exposure and include severe headaches, 
aches in the muscles and bones, rashes, and bleeding gums. As the disease progresses and dengue hemorrhagic fever develops, infected people are more likely to experience shock, severe bleeding, blood plasma leakage, and severely low blood pressure. On rare occasions, the illness also affects the brain, liver, and heart, which can lead to organ failure or brain inflammation. Dengue-related diseases claim the lives of about 25,000 people. Best course of action for limiting the spread of the dengue virus appears to be vaccinations and mosquito population maintenance, coupled with initiatives to prevent mosquito bites. Number 4. Hantavirus the hantavirus is thought to take one to eight weeks to fully develop, and symptoms might appear at any point throughout this time. Aches and pains in the muscles, fever, headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort are some of the early signs of the illness. Extreme coughing, chest pain, shortness of breath, and chest tightness start to appear after 10 days in situations where the virus causes HPS when the lungs start to fill with fluid. Similar symptoms are present in HFRS instances and eventually develop into low blood pressure, shock, internal bleeding, and acute renal failure. Number 3. Coronavirus, a contagious illness called coronavirus disease, COVID-19, is brought on by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Most virus-infected individuals will suffer from mild to moderate respiratory illnesses and recover without the need for special care. People who are older and those with underlying medical illnesses, including cancer, diabetes, chronic lung disease, or cardiovascular disease, being well informed on the illness and how the virus spreads is the best method to stop and sluggish transmission. By keeping a distance of at least one meter between people, donning a mask that fits properly, and often washing your hands or using an alcohol-based rub, you can prevent infection in both yourself and other people. Number 2. Ebola Prior to the initial appearance of symptoms, the Ebola virus must first undergo 2 to 21 days of incubation. Initial signs include a sudden flu-like stage marked by acute exhaustion, high temperature, muscle weakness and pain, sore throat, and reduced appetite. As the virus spreads, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain and cramps, and diarrhea are also frequently experienced, which frequently results in severe dehydration. Within five to seven days, it is also typical for severe rashes, respiratory issues and chest pain to appear, followed by the start of internal and external bleeding. Bloody stools, bloody coughs, and bloody vomiting are typically caused by the virus reducing the blood's inherent capacity to clot. In severe situations, patients frequently go into a coma in the last stages of the illness, followed by low blood pressure, which frequently causes death. Lifelong sequelae, including as liver inflammation, deafness, persistent fatigue, poor vision, and decreased appetite, are frequent among Ebola survivors. Number 1. Marburg Virus Although little is known about the virus, it is thought that the Marburg virus travels between people through coming into touch with contaminated objects, bodily fluids, or broken skin, such as bedding or clothing that has been contaminated with blood, urine, or fecal matter. The virus's incubation times range from 2 to 21 days. Initial signs and symptoms might appear suddenly and frequently include high fevers, headaches, exhaustion, muscle pains, severe diarrhea, stomach discomfort, and cramps nausea and vomiting. By the third day of symptoms, people frequently have ghostly features, including sunken eyes, expressionless faces, and severe rashes. Non-infected people frequently experience severe bleeding, both internally and externally, from the gums, nose, and genital areas after five to seven days. Additionally, typical is severe bleeding close to venipuncture sites due to the inability of the blood to naturally clot. Confusion, anger, and irritability are frequently caused by central nervous system dysfunction, which is prevalent in the disease's advanced stages. The ninth day frequently brings death. That's it for today. We'd hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.